so when somebody asks what is the context variable and what type of context variable we have used in our trigger so simply we can say we have many type of context variable to identify my current runtime context of uh, trigger execution like uh, this trigger execution happening in the before operations or in the after operations or due to what type of operations like insert or update or delete to identify all these we have a list of uh, uh, variables defined in my trigger class and each variable we can use and we can we can control what kind of uh, uh, runtime context we are in the trigger so if you want to see there is a specific piece of code you have in in your utility or handler class and you want to see this execution happening due to trigger or something else simply we can use trigger dot executing so if your code execution is under trigger context then this will return you true if current context of apex code is a trigger okay so same way if i want to identify uh, like if i want to execute some piece of code only during the insert event simply i can check with my trigger context if trigger dot is insert equal to true then execute my piece of code simply we can write in if if block something like this if trigger dot is insert then write my piece of code same way we can do for each update if you want to identify your trigger executing due to any update operation happens and you want to execute some piece of code during that update event then you can check if trigger dot is update same way you have trigger dot is, is delete and you have trigger dot is on delete so all all kind of uh, context variable you can use that way so now you have say again uh, when I say trigger is two types before insert and sorry before and after trigger so my insert may have may have in the before insert I want to have some kind of logic to execute or in before update I want to execute some kind of logic so that time what we can do we have control using each before or each after we can use this context variable to identify my uh, trigger fire in my before event or in my after event okay same way uh, if you want to see uh, there is some like you it like there is a new contest variable came which we call operation type so it's nothing but uh, enum type which of type as system trigger operations where it defines the current a current operation type of trigger so it may be your before insert as enum value before update or before delete simply you can use operation type or after insert or after update all enum values we can get based on what context you are in the trigger right now you can use simply your trigger operation type enum to identify what kind of operation currently happening in this so same way we have a new new map old old map which widely used like which is so much uses in the salesforce programming so to identify the records which are in the trigger execution right now we can use this context variables like new new map old old map so when i say new new map old old map what is the difference between them so now let's see i i have some kind of record i want to save in my database okay so now let's consider this is my account record one or account record a so this record when i am saving uh, this record can be identified as a trigger dot new trigger dot new nothing but a list of new version of the record which is going to be saved in my database i'm sending the record a to save to my database so this trigger dot new new will return me the list of new record which going to save on my database okay so same way old nothing but if i am going to update my record for example i have a account record b already i am changing b account record a type from customer direct to customer uh, some other type okay so that means now b record have two versions let's see b with the type as customer direct okay and a b same account i updated with some other value 
so now if you see my b account record have two different version one as old version and one as new version so trigger.new will give me the new set of uh, details which i'm going to save in my database and the trigger.old will give me the record which was my previous version or which was exactly same copy as my database copy so that we can identify on the trigger.old so when i want like what scenario i need this trigger.new or trigger.old to use so whenever i want to write some kind of logic okay if my account type changed from customer direct to my customer channel then i want to execute some piece of logic that means i want to compare previous value with my new value so that scenario when comes we have to use this old and new so that we can compare a new map old map nothing but uh, whenever you you this is nothing but the new list of records with their id which come as a map map of id to the new version of the records and old map nothing but map of id to old version of the record so the point is a triggered at new map its record id and its collection of records and the old map nothing but its record id and old or previous version of the record which in the trigger execution so to get all this or runtime context of trigger simply we can use all these context variables defined here okay so in the next we'll see many interesting questions stay tuned thank you